People call me Chaplain Mike here. I've been a chaplain now for 13 years with Avamir. Before I moved here, I had a condo and was by myself. I'm 78 now. I'm having trouble with balance. I'm having trouble with uh, the nerves in my legs, all of that. I want to make sure that people are there for him 24 hours a day, that he's got somebody there for him if anything were to happen. With this age wave coming, there aren't enough resources to continue the way we do things. The project with IBM really added to the value of what we're trying to do by, by bringing in new information. So when we wired a room with all this, these sensors, as well as uh, wearable sensor technology. And one of the main goals is to quantify the patient. Can we quantify the, the movement? Can we quantify patterns of movement? In a micro level, you can describe how this human being is different from how he was Monday compared to how he was Wednesday. And I think when you get to that level, that's when you can start using Internet of Things to really drive decision making in healthcare. Take a shower every morning, then of course I get my phone, my meds, and again I have to pick a list to make sure that I got all of that, and so you'll see me fussing around in, in a pattern. As we identify patterns in, in our patient's behavior, we can adjust our, our plan of care sooner than we would be able to without that, that data. And that gets us to that outcome faster. We believe that sensor technology has a big part of the future. Looking at some of this data on a more real-time basis so that we can interject and, and assist individuals uh, when something is really taking place in their lives right away. I think as an organization, we walked away believing, okay, you know what? We actually believe this is possible. What excites me most about, about the project uh, we're doing with IBM is, is really the opportunity for us to really revolutionize how the delivery of therapy is, is provided in post-acute care. So this gives us an opportunity to take a giant step towards realizing that. We're trying to find out how we can better take care of people and, and protect them. And that's the major reason that I see to make us more competent in what we do. We're on the cutting edge and we're willing to try anything and everything to figure out what it is that seniors and or people in our care need to give them the very best care that we can.